What's up, guys? This is Technoblast here on Technos Gaming. And with the recent news of the PlayStation demos behind the highest tier possible of their new PS Plus uh, packages, you have to be a complete total idiot to support this so-called pro-consumer practice. Demos should be free. Simple as that. Nintendo has them, and they're the worst people or the worst platform to have demos on, and they have it. Steam has it. Xbox has it. I mean, my God, even your phone has free demos. And you're going to tell me paying the highest tier possible off this new PlayStation Plus plans is pro-consumer and is insanely great value? You got to be a total idiot. I mean, admit it. You're going to tell me you are glad to pay $120 for two-hour demos. You want to rag on Xbox uh, Game Pass that gives, yes, it may cost a little bit more, but you get the entire game. There's no limitations to those Game Pass games. This is video is not about Game Pass versus PlayStation Plus. It's just the comparison of the two. It's They're way apart. And of course, one is very superior than the other one. This one hasn't even come out yet. Premium hasn't even come out yet, and it's already trash. It's already trash. You're again, you're gonna tell me it is great value to pay $17.99 a month or $120 a month to get two hour demos. And sure, you can purchase the game, but you can do that in Game Pass too, except you play the whole thing 100 percent And if you choose to purchase it, you can. And on top of that, you get a discount for buying that game if you're subscribed to Game Pass demos should be free and i don't know how uh how else to say it for people to under people to understand that please don't come at me uh, uh bet from how it was back in the day uh where you bought a magazine and a cd we're not in those days anymore those days are long gone so don't try to use that as ammo and saying well remember back in the day when those magazines you purchased had a demo disc weren't you excited about that yeah i was but we're not we're not in that time anymore. We're com it's completely different times. It's just insane that you have people celebrating, rejoicing over this plan, paying the highest tier possible to get demos. You take, you're getting a fraction of a game and paying a lot of money for it. You're not even getting the whole entire game. That is insane. That is completely insane. Now, what people are not talking about is that Sony is requiring now developers that, that have their games costing from $35, $34 and up, they are required to make two hour demos of those games, right? They're telling these studios, these devs, yo, you got a budget and you got to allocate your resources to make two hour demos of your game if they cost more than $34. They're telling the devs that they need a budget and allocate resources to create. It's a requirement. You gotta be crazy. You have to be complete insane to be asking these developers. It's very hard enough that they're trying to get the game out or develop. And now you're asking them, like, give me a fraction of the game so, because we, we require this two hour demo. You gotta be an idiot. And I hope the developers out there will push back and say no to them. They refuse to say no. It's like, you know what? I'd rather not be on your, on your platform. Why? Why be on that platform? You're going to require me to do more work. So I hope the developers push back and say no to them. Now, the other stuff that's the benefits, that's what they call it, the benefits of premium. You know, you got the PlayStation games, PS2, PSP, PS4. Which games? Is there a list? Where, where, what, are, what are the games that are being offered for this back catalog? Xbox had a list already coming out when they first started announcing uh, backward comp games. They have a list and the list still is, is out there to tell you what's available. Here, they're just telling you, eh, whatever you're getting, and that's it. They're not listing, oh, this is what you're getting. I mean, if, if anything, you may want to provide a list of the most, most uh, loved games instead of just giving them whatever and people accept them. And I'm sure whatever games are, re are, are released for backward comp, People, the fan, the hardcore Sony fans are going to be like, yeah, 
we love you, Sony. That's what they're going to say. Because that's what they do. And the streaming that they have is trash. Just admit it. It is trash. You don't get great experience out of that streaming service whatsoever. But somehow people are saying it's the best thing ever. And it's not. It's clearly not. But as long as you pay for that $17 or $120 a, month, a year service premium, hey, if I'm paying $120, it must be good, right? So it's just insane and just nuts that the fan base are so, I mean, you got to say it, idiotic to support PlayStation Pro Spray, the highest tier possible, and, and, and just get demo to get demos. Sure, you get the other uh, benefits from the other tiers, but the added benefit to be on premium is two hour demos. That is pathetic. That is sad. That is stealing money from your fan base. That's what it is. Stealing money from your fan base saying, here you go, fan base. We're giving you two hour demos. But somehow the fan base clowns on Xbox Game Pass for having full 100% games. I don't see the logic in that. So for anybody that's interested in any of these tiers that PlayStation Plus is or PlayStation is offering or Sony's offering, your best bet is to stick to the middle one, the PlayStation Plus Extra. That's the one you want to stick with. You don't want the premium. You know, once again, Jim, Jimmy, old Jimmy boy was the one that said, who wants to play old games? So why would you sign up for premium to play old games? You don't want to do that. As a Sony fan, you don't want to do that because you don't believe in old games. And if you hate streaming games, well, then you really don't want to sign up for premium because you got streaming there. It's just insane. Insane. And, and it's just nuts how some people, the fan base celebrates this because it shows no value in this. It does not. And I'll be one of the first to tell you, I've been waiting for Spartacus to, to, to be announced just like it was here. And I was like, I will wait for the details to come from Sony. I don't want to hear it from somebody that heard it from somebody else that heard it from somebody else because it's all rubbish. I want to hear from Sony. And when Sony came out with this, I was seriously designed to, to sign up before even this came out. And when this came out, that is it. I'm not signing up because it's trash. It's all trash. Every single tier is trash, especially premium. But if you're the one going to sign up, stick to plus extra. That's the one you want to go for. Well, yeah, it's just nuts. Two, two hours. It's just a, it, I, it blows my mind that people celebrate two hour demos behind the highest tier package that Sony's going to offer. And if you sign up for that one, you're a total idiot. Simple as that. You're a moron and an idiot. All right, guys, this is Technoblast on Technos. If you got something to say, you know it. Put it down in the comment section. You want to bring the hate? Bring it on because I love it. All right, guys, I'm out.